I lay dying. What's up, boys? Welcome to the program. I lay dying. That's fucking rad. Go around and uh, introduce yourselves to, for those at home. I'm Tim. I sing for As I Lay Dying. Yep. I'm Phil. I play guitar. Jordan. I play drums. Nick, the other guitar player. Nice. I'm Josh. I play bass. Nice. Welcome to the show, you guys. Very articulate bunch. Thanks for having us. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you guys are, are, are you in San Diego now or are you, that's where you come from? Is that where you live? Uh, yeah, well, three of us. Give him uh, the mic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Three of us grew up there. Okay. Uh, and then these two in the back. That's why they're sitting in the back, actually. It's yeah. cause oh, they... cause... We're not indigenous to the San Diego area. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see how that would be important. Yeah. So you guys are in town now. You're playing at the, uh, the Wilton Theater. And I, I found out you guys have played there before. Do you, uh, do you dig playing in L.A.? I mean, you, you the theater. What's, what, what's the vibe here? I mean, because I know you guys yeah. are from San Diego, and there's a scene there unto its own. Yeah. But does L.A. get that scene as much? Well, I'm not, I'm not trying to press our luck, but, like, the last two shows in L.A. have been awesome. But previous to that, you kind of get the people with the arms folded, you know. I've always yeah. noticed that as a player here in L.A. Like, when I'm playing out of town, people are just going off. But in L.A., it doesn't matter. And I'm from L.A. I get a lot of that, especially being a guitar player. Yeah. yeah. Just other guitar players standing in front of you with their arms closed. Let me check out what this guy's doing. Yeah. I feel like you're being judged. Oh, you are. You are. We, <laughs> <laughs> feeling is right on. Yeah. You clearly are. Todd, eyes and Todd saw you in L.A. a couple years yeah, ago, I saw right? you guys when you played at the Key Club. Um, I went to actually see Madball. So one of my yeah, favorite bands. I saw the episode you guys uh, interviewed Madball. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah when I, a couple of years ago, um, Armando actually, who works in your guys for for the management company he said oh one of the bands as la dying's play there check them out you know and uh i i didn't know you guys at all and i was blown away you guys were really Thanks. sick it's hard you know you don't see metal that much anymore you know what i mean and there was a lot of uh mixed crowds a lot of metal fans a lot of hardcore you know that differentiation everybody was just going off it was a good yeah. show that's awesome good show so uh, you guys are also one of the bands that really has you stand behind what you're saying in your lyrics and in the music, which is actually kind of cool because a lot of bands aren't really doing that. They're just kind of interested in getting a product out. Right. You know, you want to expand on that a little bit? Like, yeah, I, I think like, you know, for a band like us, the only way to really get out there as a tour and, and, you know, play the same songs every day for, of course. for two years in a row and in order to be passionate <clears throat> about that. I mean, the typical metal themes of, you know, whether it be like about wizards or, you know, or like, <laughs> you know, uh, dragons, of course. Yeah. Know. I, I, I really wouldn't be passionate about that, you know, especially. I know. You know, playing, singing the same song, you know, 600 times, you know. So. Plus, we, we have Ronnie James Dio to do all that. Yeah. And, and he does he, it. If anybody's going to do it. going to outdo Dio. I mean, you're not going to do it. He is the dragon slayer, so. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> So, inventor he, of this. He, yeah. he claims, he claims that, he that he invented that. Yeah, yeah. no, actually, Jordan, Jordan has quite a story about that. Oh, let's hear a story. You got a deal uh, story? Well, I'll try to make it as quick as possible. No, but, dude, this is your time. Make, uh, take as much time as you like. Well, we were um, flying out to Japan to do a festival called Loud Park, and uh, Dio happened to be playing the festival as well. And we're rolling out of the plane. Um, I'm checking the overhead compartments, you know, to find my seat number. I look down and see my empty seat, and I see uh, a Phil. wig. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. Phil and Nick, like, right there, right? And then all of a sudden, I look right next to me, and there's Ronnie James Dio right in the city in the seat right next to me. And I'm like, wow, this is going to be sweet, you know? <laughs> yeah. So I had to ask him. I was like, excuse me, Mr. Dio. I have to sit down. That's my seat right there, you know? So mm -hmm. um, I didn't end up talking to him very much the whole flight because I was really nervous because it's yeah. Dio. Yeah, of course. But a couple things that happened that were sweet. Um, towards the end of the flight, you know, the flight attendant was bringing breakfast and coffee and you know, she breakfast forgot. with Dio. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. No, but so black. Here's the dark. great part about it is she forgot to give us cream and sugar, both of us. Okay. And so Dio's like, excuse me, miss. Um, you never gave a, a cream and sugar to uh, myself and my flight companion here. He called me his flight companion, oh, which was super awesome. sweet. Wow, that's dope. Yeah. That is, I can relate to that. Yeah. That yeah, is yeah, awesome. It's a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's super sweet. And then, um, and I, you know, I'm, I know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to admit this, but uh, I actually – was listening to Dio while I was sitting next to him. I was like, I can't help it. You yeah, know? you got to like, do it. I'm listening to Holy Dio. And here he is right here, you know. But anyways, after after the show, uh, we ended up running into him outside. And um, long story short, someone that we were hanging out with at the time called me out in front of Dio and told me that, uh, uh, or told him that I was listening to his song while I was sitting next to him on the plane. And um, I was pretty bummed. But then he, 
He responded, he's like, dude, I wish you would have told me, man. I would have sang it for you. Oh, you're kidding. Dude, that would have been sweet. Well, you know, here's the thing. If someone called me out like that, I would just been like, fuck yeah, dude, he's the shit. (laughs) Yeah. What? (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, stand behind that shit. Todd, we had George Lynch on the show, and Todd brought a copy of his vinyl hearing aid album yeah, the, for the George to sign. Benefit for Heavy Metal Relief for Africa, which Dio engineered that whole thing. He's there the you one go. who you know, put that whole thing together. He's the godfather. Yeah. He really is. <laughs> so, now, obviously, you're big fans of, of, of that. You know, how, I mean, how long have you guys been into this metal scene? Obviously, like, this is all you've been doing as, as artists? Um, Jordan and I, we started the band almost seven years ago now, so... Uh, I mean, we we really love metal, but in San Diego, it was like mainly a hardcore scene. So right, right. I mean, we we really love metal just because it kind of challenged us, and uh, you know, since then, I mean, we definitely have gotten more and more into it, and mm-hmm. this has really become like our home scene and everything. But like when you were growing up, we're like, well, I guess what I meant to say, we're like bands like Dio and Iron Maiden and and those. Oh, and yeah, you yeah. know, is that like what you were listening to, and like what were your influences, basically? Yeah, I'd, I'd say it's different for everybody. I mean, um, I think the more uh, the older we get, the more we appreciate, you know, the kind of the, the founding fathers of the genre and everything. And uh, I know, like, some of these guys, you know, go back all the way back to, like, Thin Lizzy and stuff that influenced yeah. even Iron Maiden. But, uh, I mean, you know, the typical American stuff, you know, Metallica, you got you to love Metallica and Pantera. And I think as things got heavier, you know, Metallica <clears throat> and Pantera, and then eventually, you know, death metal kind of came along. And, you know, we're, we have a strong sense of melody, but we definitely have like a very heavy side as well. So mm. I think that all that stuff kind of influ- influenced us. Yeah, because I grew up, that was like, that was my upbringing was was Iron Maiden and Sabbath and, and yeah. D- like you know when I was in high school. We still to this day when we're yeah, driving around in the car, I got like eight thousand songs in my iPod, and we always just uh, just put on Maiden. Just yeah, put on I'll stop Maiden. on any yeah. any Deano Maiden. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's what's yeah. the what's the Maiden album? The, 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 the your your favorite. What's my favorite? Yeah. Maiden album? Probably Killers. Killers? Yeah. Probably I like the killers. early stuff too. Alright, so I am being I'm being told here that we have to go to one of your live clips. Do you know what this is we're about to see? Yeah, it's a, we're gonna toss to it actually. Let's toss to it. You guys wanna toss? Let's toss it. This is uh this is reflection, correct? You wanna yes. see reflection um from with Full Force Festival in Germany. So if you guys wanna toss Oh yeah, there's to no it. fucking harder place in Germany, man. Yeah. Those guys go yeah. off. Yeah. They love their that's our, that's our, oh, man. That's our they European love their metal, yeah. along that's with a few fun. other things, too, that we won't mention. Yeah, well, show. we can mention those. It's the internet, dude. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go to this show. This is As I Lay Dying in Germany. We'll be right back. <laughs> 